Ruan Palm Township Stadium in Joss Plateau State, Nigeria, saw was, you know, it saw heavy presence of security personnel yesterday as the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Tinubu, flagged off his campaign rally. Party supporters trooped into the stadium wearing colorful ashwebi, which is matching colors or matching fabrics in Nigeria. And these had the faces of the APC presidential candidate, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and his running mate, Senator Kashim Shatima. However, things later went south when some angry supporters got into a fight and started throwing objects in the air. Now, in his address during the flag off, Tinubu said the 2023 election is a fight to define the soul of the nation and determine her collective fate. Meanwhile, mixed reactions have trailed the rally in Jos after Bola Tinubu, while offering prayers, mentioned the opposition PDP instead of his own party, the APC. Take a look. God bless Nigeria. God bless B D A P C. A P C. God bless A P C. I mean, it, well, I mean, reactions have trailed this on social media. It, a lot of people have been calling it, you know, uh, you know, dem dementia gaff from that. And some people said because he's a founding member of the PDM, I think he wanted to say PDM instead. And some, some people were like, just yeah, shut up. Is not working. <laughs> just not, shut up. The explanation is not explained. It's not given. <laughs> <laughs> so there are several angles to this. This is not the first time this is happening. There was a time that he was given a speech as well. And it seemed like he forgot the name of the party and he had to be prompted. Uh, this has sparked conversations about his health as yeah, well, exactly. which has been a, a major issue, a major sore thumb as we proceed to the 2023 elections. Now, this is a major issue for Nigerians because the current Nigerian president, President Muhammad Buhari, is one who has been known to travel abroad over and again for medical. For health, yeah. In fact, he just returned from the UK for another medic from another medical trip. And people are asking, Nigerians are wondering if this is going to be another repeat incident of having someone who goes into office and is traveling all the time to attend to health as opposed and, to yeah. taking time to actually govern. And having people. to be represented by a deputy. Aside even tripping on his words, a lot of times, you know, videos have made the rounds on social media where he had shaky hands, shaky feet, and sometimes he will come out to try to debunk it by exercising and all of that. But is it working? Even though the exercise video they had, um, the investigation was done and some people alleged that the video video was an old video that was just brought out oh, to wow. allay the fears of people but unfortunately this is the internet age and people would always do their digging but another angle i saw a message from someone that made me crack up the person said pdp apc they're all one and the same they have members cross capitalizing from one party to the other <laughs> so at the end of the day he's only it's confusing the actually of what it is <laughs> but that's uh, that's a very interesting story that has sparked mixed reactions from social media now, still talking politics in Nigeria, Anambra State. Now, Governor Charles uh, Chukuma Saludo has again taken a swipe at the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi, saying that he will not win the 2023 presidential election. Saludo, in his letter titled History Beckons and I Will Not Be Silent, Part 1, said Peter Obi knows he's not going to win next year's presidential election and that the probability of him winning is next to zero out. Now, he added that after February 2023, he hopes that Peter Albi will return to Abga, the party that made him everything he is politically, if he truly wants to be president of Nigeria. Recall that last week, a statement was credited to Governor Soludo saying that Peter Albi's investment in Anambra State as governor are now worth next to nothing. But in a swift reaction, the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Albi has responded to the comments of Governor Soludo. Take a look. When you spread your investment, some will go up, some will come down. But overall, the company is still there. The company is still doing well. It's still part of a global chain and everything. I needed to explain it, not because I'm defending comment by my brother. My brother is the brother. I remember my brother. We're very close. I remain prayerful for him. For other things which I didn't succeed, God has given him opportunity to do it and succeed. For me, for me, yes. So if there's anything pending, governance is, governance, you don't finish. People are still go in government in America. So you stop where you stop, other people will continue from there. I don't look back. He's the governor of my state. 
Laurent is my senior brother. He's even more intelligent because he's a professor. I'm a trader. So he knows more. So he'll be able to do things better than I'm doing it. You know, I've done my little one as a trader. Now the professor is there. He will do his own as a professor. The schools that didn't roof, he will roof them. That's how government goes. Another person comes, do his own. But let us think about Finally, like I tell you people, for those of you who are, just please get involved. All of us are. You know, many people still don't know whether that statement was in solidarity or a subtle shade. But however, he has responded to Saludo's claims that he will not win the presidential elections. Anyways, public affairs analyst and executive director, Lead Network Africa, Chukuma Okinwa, joins us live from Enugu State, Southeast Nigeria, for more insight on the development. Thank you so much, Chukuma, for joining us on the news. Yeah, thank you and good morning. Good morning, Chukuma. Now, I mean, we've seen how this has unfolded, and many people would have thought that Peter Obi would enjoy the support of his state governor. I mean, they both ruled an amber state uh, at some point. But as we can see today, the story is different. So what is your opinion on his comments on the candidacy of Peter Obi, and what do you think could have triggered that reaction? Okay, uh, I think, um, judging from the way Anambra politics has been, uh, in previous time, it has always been a politics of interest, a politics of alliance. And we know that uh, for the times that Soludo, you know, uh, presented himself to serve Anambra, he was not in any way supported by P2B. Uh, but having said that, I think um, when some of us in the Southeast uh, began to have like doubts of the possibility of Soludo supporting uh, Peter, was actually, you know, when, you know, there were comments from some quarters, you know, that Obi was actually lying about, you know, those things he said he did in Anambra State. And, you know, a call was, uh, you know, placed across to uh, Soludo. Now, rather than confirming that the first disparaging statement he made that those persons that are trying to play cheap politics should leave Anambra State out of it. And I could remember one of the commentators saying, where well, this is not the reply we expected, as the sitting governor would have expected, you either validate or to disparage that particular claims. And it also took the second turn, which has to do with uh, coming up on, 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 a, on a certain television station, and then of course saying that the investment was second to nothing, without even like mentioning or authenticating the values or the figures that Obi has always been consistent with. And then with this uh, ton of events coming up with letter on the premise that he got several attacks from OB supporters on the grounds that should OB emerge as the president, he's going to be like a Hitler, and that as history becomes, he sees it as a responsibility to now reply. So the question to uh, Saludo would be, you know, when you made the statement in... Uh, Mr. Chukuma, okay, why are you there with us? All right, we're having technological challenges. We hope that we can be able to connect with him before the wrap-up of this conversation. Are you back with us now? Yes, I am. I Great, am. please I am. go ahead. So when he, made, when he made that particular statement, the question would be, did we actually see, like, uh, Obi joining issues with him? No. If Obi supporters responded... Then why don't he let his own, you know, you know, supporters engage at that particular level? But for him to leave his duty as a governor to begin to engage in a fight with a presidential candidate from his region, you know, is unexpected. We know that Anambra State, it's not up for a general election as long as next year is consigned. He's a tier rubber governor who was newly sworn in and should be preoccupied with the responsibilities that are ahead of him. Rather than mixing issues, I mean, he's not going to run for any election anytime soon. So Soludo should be able to focus, rather than trying to like predict the election or even, uh, you, know, pre uh, you, know, you know, predict the election before the elections are done. And the fact remains that, judging from all of the statistics, OB has chances as long as 2023 is consigned. And there's no debate anywhere or engagement that you want to have with presidential candidates and you say that you are going to overlook him or despise him. So even saying that his chances were second to zero, without even being decent enough to say, well, 
Perhaps he has probability of 20%, maybe 20 over 10 to win. You know, more or less like suggests like is either he is a kind of trying to revenge on Obi, or he's just simply jealous of Obi. Would you say but that I this revenge? Would you say that this revenge was born out of Obi's uh, leaving Apka, or is there more to it? Not at all. So Luke okay. himself was in PDP when he was the CBN governor. All right. We know that you can't you can't separate politics and of course uh, political affiliations and of course appointments. He served as a CBN governor. So, I mean, people can move, and that has been like a norm in Nigeria politics to switch over. What about, like, in the case of a whole region, like in the Southwest, moving from a certain political party, imagine it into an imagined one. You know, would you say they have lost their political destiny? All right, so let's talk about this document, a uh, 4,008 worded document from Soludo. He said so many things, and I'd like to ask if you think that there is any atom of truth to some of the things that he, sa he said. I'm going to highlight one of them. And he said that uh, Indigo do not lack, Indigo lack the structure. Yeah, I, I, yes, are, you, like, are you able like to hear the, me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can All right. Hear you. He did mention yeah. that Indigo lack the structure to effectively engage Nigeria in the governance. I'm just paraphrasing. He also did say that um, Indigo resurface every four years, do the Unzogu Unzogu dance. And then when they lose, they come back up again every four years. Basically, alluding to the fact that he thinks the people, the Igbo people do not have structure that would enable them to lead this country. Do you in any way agree with that or any of the things that he said in this document? Uh, first, let me say that uh, even the solution that he's offering, which is Abda, you can't use a regional party to win a national election. Uh, President Muhammad Buhari tried that under CPC, never worked. And of course, uh, under Alliance for Democracy, you know, nobody was able to produce president. So you have to like seek for like national alliance, parties that has got the spread and it's not perceived as a regional party. So even the proposition of like using Afghan and all the rest of it. So I would say that Labour Party actually have more national substance than Afghan, which is perceived as a regional party, including the logo, which is typical of like an Igbo file, right? You know, so that perception is there. And let me also say something that even without the Abga, Obi is going to win with a landslide victory in the Southeast region. So even the Southeast would have used the Abga to appeal. He's already in his uh, sh shapes as, as a as presidential candidate. He's not going to make a great inroad, of course, in the South-South. And let's also not forget that Obi has uh, a running candidate, a running mate, who is also from the northern part of the country. And that is the spread we are talking about. And the Nigeria, the, the beautiful thing about this is that Nigerians have had just enough and are saying we need a fresh platform, we can't continue this way. And I think it's a, a factor that the political elite are trying to thumb down on. But, you know, it does appear that with the energy, with the unusual reawakening and interest we've seen from young persons wanting to get involved in the, in the, in the electoral process, it may not be business as usual as many of them are trying to like color or structure or not structure and all the rest of it. Structure is all about people. The fact remains that at the end of the day, three things will be looked at to declare someone as the president. We want to look at the number of votes and tell me, does Obi has followers? Does he have fans? Does he have people that believe in his mandate? Certainly all that will culminate into votes. Two, you talk about the spread. Yes, we've seen like Nigerians all across during the era of the one million march turning out in their droves you know, to show solidarity for me. And that, of course, suggests that he has that particular spread. And of course, I don't think there is any impending a, a, a principle or case against him that's going to militate against him, imagine, as Mr. President of the country, should he has, should he eventually emerge as the winner of 2023 election. All so right, uh, Chukuma, let's still, let's still talk about... Chukuma, let's still talk about Soludo's references to the Indigo. Now, we know that this Dar tribe obviously did not sit well with them. Now that it did sit well with the obedience, that's the uh, Peter Obi's, uh, you know, fans on social media. Now, the Apex Social Cultural Organization in Igbo land, that's the Ohanize in Igbo, has also described Governor Charles Soludo's comments as ridiculous, unreasonable, and also as premature, adding that it had dragged Soludo to dates in Igbo land for discrediting the legacies of Peter Obi. How would you react to this statement? Exactly, because uh, let me also point out this, which is important. At the moment, out of the five East uh, states, only one state is Abda, two PDP, two APC. So for someone to claim that uh, maybe him leaving Abda is actually 
uh, be, being uh, in a kind of disaffection uh, with Indibo, right? It's completely out of it. And let me also reiterate that uh, Soludo in those uh, allegations was not actually speaking for Igbos. And I think I share the same sentiments uh, with uh, Ohanez and Dibo, which is the apex as a gentleman would be to actually apologize to Dibo. All right. Uh, I guess we're just going to wait and see if that apology ever comes. Uh, Peter will be, many have said that he has handled the uh, criticism graciously, but we will just wait it out and see how all this plays out. Thank you, Chukuma, for joining us. We wish you Thank a wonderful you. rest of your day.